been trying with this new whole filming thing to try and film in a different location each time. So before it was over there, I had to turn down the scanner, but before it was over there, now it's over here. I don't know where it's going to be next time. But it's the last day of March and honestly can't wait to actually start putting up the Easter decorations tomorrow because I think that the stuff that I got this year is pretty cute. But that's not what this is about. This is a Walmart haul. That's not part of it. Adrian and I went to Walmart last night. Um, I'm pretty sure that actually I need to go find the receipt really quickly. Alright, that was a little bit of a fail. Um, <laughs> I have a receipt bag that I put my receipts away in because my aunt gives me every once in a while a whole bag of receipts. I'll scan them into my fetched app and then I will put them into a bag where I do a uh, recycled project thingy, which I don't know if I'm, I'm ever going to show. It's kind of stupid, but whatever. But as I said, that's not what we're here for. But we're here to Walmart haul. We're gonna have to do this. <laughs> we're just we're just gonna have to do this because I don't know how much anything is besides the clearance items at this point. So first, we found this uh, phone spa phone and accessory sanitizer plus wireless charger. So the top is the wireless charger, the inside sanitizes it with the aroma therapy diffuser, three sixty UVC sanitizing lights, and wireless charger. <laughs> Apparently it was twenty three dollars and. We got it in clearance for four, and any of the stuff, um, taste test wise or unboxing wise or anything like that, will be most likely part of the vlog coming at the ending of the week. I don't think it's going to be the ending of this week, but I think it's going to be next week. So, let's see. Friday? It's going to be a week from now. Today is March 31st. It's going to be the first week in April, first Friday in April, I guess, whatever. But yeah, if you want to see how this stuff is opened and uh, using-wise and all that stuff, stay tuned for that video to come out. I should also point out in the process of this that I got two boxes of um, feminine head, well, feminine, I don't know, feminine head, I don't know, feminine products. This is one of the things that I got. This, I don't even know how much this was. This is 96, it's liners, but the, the the ones that I use that you, if anybody has seen any of my hauls in the past when I've hauled them, um, they come in a different thing than this, it's not a box, so when you open it, it looks like this, so it looks completely different than what the normal ones I have that I normally get look like, but this is the only one that we could find at the Walmart that we went to, so... I was like, funny, whatever. Um, I guess we'll see how they are and if I like them, maybe get another box this big that looks like this again. I don't know. I'm normally not one to get the boxes because the other ones that I actually, the pads that I get are the Overnight Without Wings by by Kotex. So they're like decently thick. And um, they don't come in a box. They come in like a huge like packaging. I don't know. It's weird. But as I said, we'll see how it does. I don't care. <laughs> as long as it does what it needs to do. We went into clearance and we found this kitty round and round by Pawtastic. Oh, I guess it's a round and round. That's what it's called. It was $19 and it was on clearance for $11. And this is what it looks like. So, as said, if you want to see how this is unboxed and uh, put together and all that stuff, stay tuned for that. No, I'm actually... I'm going to look at the calendar to see what day that is, so that way I can stop. If everything goes well, it'll be up by April 7th. And it's most likely going to be some missed clips from this coming week, or this past couple days in it, and then the new starting next week. But yeah, if you want to see how this is, then stay tuned for that vlog. It sounds like it has... Yeah, it sounds like it's got something wacky in there. It's kind of heavy, too, so I don't know. We have Peeps Marshmallow Sour Watermelon. Adrian chose these, so I guess we will see how his choice is and if they're actually good or not. We have Peeps Marshmallow Fruit Punch, because that one kind of sounded a little bit decent, so I guess we'll see. We'll see, I guess. I don't know. I found the Sesame Street collection that they have with Wet n Wild. And 
I found the carrying case which was like eight dollars and the brushes which were like six but I ended up getting the multi sticks and two of the complexion trio palettes which I'm not 100% sure what that means so I guess there's a highlighter and there's two blushes okay I didn't know that so I might be actually a little bit more interested in that alright so this one they were $9.97 this one uh, was $5 uh, perfect pair went and wild looks put it together and it looks like it's Elmo and Big Bird I was honestly going to give one of these to Ashley, but now that I know that it's like a trio with blush and highlighter, honestly, I might just try to look that myself and see how that is first because I, I actually wasn't paying attention when I got them. You know, why would you pay attention when buying things? And wait, did those have names on them? No, it doesn't have. It just has the ingredients and it says for 12 and up. Not tested on animals. Vegan, cruelty free. Yeah. Okay. So, we'll see. I'll probably have that stuff on my TikTok, so I guess go look at that if you want to see that. This one is Best Buddies. I forget these two names. <sighs> Anyways, this was $9.97 as well. $5 on clearance. Highlighter. Oh, bronzer and bronzer. Okay, so that explains a lot. Okay, so good thing I did get both, because now, now I understand. Alright, so this is a highlighter, bronzer, and a bronzer. I got these two on it. So, I guess if you want to see those in action or anything like that, it's going to be TikTok. Is that a ghost? We have, uh, the, it was $11.98, this is uh, $6 in clearance. The Om Nom Nom. Cookie Monster three piece multi assemble set assemble multi or whatever. It doesn't say what the names of anything are. Just that this is a touchable multi stick set features three multifunctional makeup sticks and a velvety cream to powder formula that applies seamlessly to eyes, cheeks, and lips. Mix and match to create multiple delicious looks. All right. I guess I will open it up and at least say what the names of them are because I don't think it shows on the outside what the names of them are. So let's open them up. Quick look series. So this first brown one with, with Cookie Monster and Cookie whatever. So this brownish one is Crumble. That looks more of like a, like, it has like glittery-ish, or just a little bit lighter than this one that I'm about to show you. Which is one bite, and it has some of the cookies on it. That's some of the cookies on it. And this last one is a blue one that has just Cookie Monster space on it. There we go, my sweatshirt's actually doing some justice for being the background of this stick out. That looks actually pretty nice. And this one is Fuzzy Monster, which is actually kind of cute. And it's a blue. So as I said, we'll see how those go. Pay attention to the vlog at the end of the week for the other things and pay attention to TikTok for these things. Three hand sanitizers. These pump ones are actually pretty decent. These are like the only ones that I can find at the Walmarts that we go to. Uh, if I can find the other ones, I get the other ones too, but normally they have them in the smallest, tiniest little thing. And like, I understand I could put them in my purse or something like that, but at the same time, normally they only have, like one. And I like a couple of them. Anyways. Two of them are the Purell Energizing Advanced Hand Sanitizer, Energizing Men Infused with Essential Oils. So, the regular. Got two of these, and then <laughs> Adrian made a comment about the common lavender one. He's like, oh, you get the green, but you don't get the purple one, because he knows at one point the purple was like my favorite color, but now it's back and forth between blue and purple and such. I don't know. It's just a thing. I was blue when I was younger for liking the color purple, so it just, yeah. But, yep, it's with calming lavender. This is what it looked like. And I'm gonna put, I have one, that, one green one that I ran out of on my bedside, so I'm gonna put this one in that. And I'm also gonna put the calming 
lavender one in there so that way at night I can use this one instead of using the other ones and see if it like helps me like with the fact of going to sleep or anything like that. You never know. Adrian had to get two packs of these reciprocating saw blade. I know what they're used for but I couldn't tell you what they are whatsoever besides the fact of blades but that's what he got. Well at least one of the things that he got. We both got one of these but he um took his last night. I always get me a blue and him a yellow for some reason that's just how it goes but we have these to snack on. Oh they're the mini M&Ms and he cracked a screen protector. I've been trying to find a screen protector for- I tried to go to Five Below when I went there a few weeks ago and find a screen protector for that and it didn't work whatsoever because they don't have any that fit like anybody's phones anymore. So we had to go to Walmart and he had to get that last night and it was also a pain in the ass because um, there was a dude standing off to the side at the electronics but he, apparently he didn't work there. So when Adrian was like, oh hey can you help us? He had to go and tell the other dude, hey you know these customers need help. And the guy was just still standing there as we were getting checked down and walked away. So I don't know why he was even standing there. But yeah, he drank out of his phone or uh, screen protector. So thank God for that one. And I also told him because he didn't find any cases that he wanted. I was like, just go online. Like, you know, you're an Amazon freak. Just go online and just buy it off Amazon. He uses this L'Oreal Paris Lions Studios line. I don't know. Mega Gel. Oh, Ultimate Control and Definition Max Hold High Shine. I think he said this is a step up from what he normally gets. This is a four, so I'm assuming he normally gets a three, but he got two of these. I don't know what the other one is, but that's what that looks like. We got two of these, but I've already been um, chomping into one of them because these are really good. But yeah, the Reese's Pieces eggs, pretty decent. 140 calories per nine pieces, and there's it says that there's. 3.5 servings in here. Oh my god, there's birth near the window and cripple seeing them all. And we got push pins, clear ones, because the uh, metal, smaller, like flat ones that I have, sometimes hard to get off the wall. So I don't want to sit there and be pulling my LED lights and have them break, even though they're already from the Dollar Tree. I mean, that's already a reason to be careful with them as it is, because you know they're going to break anyways. So got these. Hopefully, these are a little bit easier. And hopefully I put them in the things that are like up higher on the wall rather than lower because we don't need people snagging their legs or heads or ears or anything like that that's of importance, you know, across one of these because it's probably going to hurt. And that is the ending of our haul, I'm pretty sure. Oh, we got two of the, uh, we tried to get one of those like huge jugs with like the hand, the uh, plastic handle on top. Um, they apparently completely cleaned Walmart out, and by they I mean customers apparently completely cleaned Walmart out of all of those. So Mott's doesn't, Mott's big one wasn't in there last night, so we had to go for the like medium sized Mott's ones that my mom normally gets. So we got two of those with the whole purchase as well. And honestly, I can't wait to use that stuff now, to, now that I know that there's like a blush and a highlighter and all that stuff and a bronzer and everything else involved. I didn't realize that stuff. Oh, and um, if we go back to Walmart within the next few days and we still see the brushes and the traveling case, I'm going to try and grab that as well. Other than that, I'm still looking out for any collections of any sort that are makeup that are pretty cool. Let me know because I'm apparently not finding them. And as I said on my channel that I have combined with my sister when we opened up the Slim Spooky or whatever it was recently, We've been waiting for, you know, at least something to launch, and when it comes down to the Valentine's Day one for ColourPop, I missed it. So, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. it was fun. Anyways, I hope you liked my haul, and as I said, stay tuned to the ending of the, yeah, ending of the week, because I, I guess tomorrow, whatever, Saturday starts a new week, whatever you want to say. So wait till the ending of next week for the vlog to see how all this stuff works and everything and I'm pretty excited for it so yeah comment down below what you want to see or if you have any you know makeup collection suggestions or anything like that um like the video if you liked it please thank you and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this 
I feel like my kitchen looks like it's a mess from here, but it's really just because it's all these knickknacks that are on the divider thing from my living room to my kitchen. <sighs> Yay. Alright, well, thank you for watching. I am in the same area that I was in yesterday because this is um, another Walmart haul, but I'm going to include the things that Adrian and his mother got me for my birthday. Um, I didn't really get much for my birthday only because normally if I ask my aunt to like get me a new phone or something like that she'll be like right on top of it and all that stuff so basically anything that I ask her for she gives me anyways that's just a thing um my father gave me a hundred dollars 50 that I spent actually no it was 30 out of 50 that I spent at Walmart the other night uh it's a haul that I didn't even show uh, I got a new shirt and a couple of other things I don't really remember to be honest with you but we went to Walmart again last night and I found some more of the Sesame Street stuff because I just wanted to go back and I wanted to get the rest to be honest with you and um, the other stuff that's in this huge ass box right here is also the stuff that Adrian got me for my birthday and then the stuff that his mother got me is off on the side over here so I'll just show that afterwards but I'm in the same location as yesterday because it's going to be the same video if you get what I mean so different day same video all right we will start off this glare plus honestly with these glasses because my um I was gonna say rearview mirror my camera thing bob where I can see that thing I don't know what it's called right now I'll figure it out sooner later and probably put the name up here somewhere um I can barely even see myself so honestly I actually can barely even see like now okay you want to know something glasses are probably not all right cripple Marie's we got the uh, these were 16, five, sorry, no, eh, wait, there's a mark over it, $15.98, and we got them on clearance for $8, a Sesame Street Limited Edition, Wet n Wild 4-piece makeup brush set, so we'll see what I can do with these, the makeup brushes so obviously a lot, but the pink one, pink one, the red one has Elmo, the green ones, I forget what his name is, the new guy, the blue one that has Cookie Monster, and then the yellow one that has Big Bird? I forgot the, the green dude's name. And he eats out of the trash, don't he? Oh my god, I totally forgot where he eats at least in the trash. I don't know, I don't really remember. I was kind of a kid when I saw that stuff. And I also found the um, setting spray, Prime and Set Mist, which was $9.97. It was on clearance for five dollars so honestly i'm not gonna i mean it has uh what's his face on it i forget what his name is i know all these dudes i just forget what their names are it's got that little dude on it vampire dude my phone's gonna be going on oh and then the last one oh no there's two on oh, my cat my ass yes you can see there's stuff like that too this is the um i'm assuming a lot of people didn't really want this collection or else they probably would have gotten to it 10 times faster but that's just me this was $6.97, it was on clearance for $3, and it's a Wet n Wild lip mask, and it's Save the Day, I forget. This little dude on it. You can barely even see. Let's see. Can we get this? Oh, you guys can see? He's on the bike. I forget what their names are. I forget what half of their names are, I'm sorry. Maybe you know what Maybe I should actually look it up on Google. Is that way I know at least half of what I'm talking about. Stacy on the street. I'm old enough to know the people. Do I remember? I mean like the, the the characters in the show, but I don't remember watching it, if that makes any sense. Okay, here here we go. Big Bird leads a cast of characters teaching children's numbers, colors in the alphabet. Bert and Ernie, Oscar, the Grouch, and Grover are just a few other creatures involved in the show. Okay, so they call them creatures. That sounds a little bit worse on my side. I mean, in my head, that sounds a little bit worse than calling them creatures, but I definitely understand, I definitely get it. You know what, we're not even gonna try, because I feel like I'm gonna get them all wrong anyways, okay? So, if you know who it is that's on the things, and you know who it is. I don't know. But the first episode, first episode date aired November 10th of 1969. Wow, okay, damn. I'm gonna turn my ringer off for now, because my phone's gonna start blowing up if I don't. And then, I'm not really sure how much this one is, I'm pretty sure it was $8. Oh, it's on the tag. Was fifteen dollars. I got it for a Sesame Street makeup bag. You got you got the little 
dudes right here, and I'll say exactly what all of them say. You got him saying, now scram. You got Emma saying, let's play all, t all day together. You got, as I said, the, the blue dude, I forget. Going whoosh to the sky, air, whatever. I'm assuming Burn Ernie down in the corner, but I could be very far off of that. I'm assuming Burn Ernie. You got Cookie Monster in the middle that says, um, num, num, like normal. And then Big Bird off on the side, and honestly, it's really cute. It's honest, like, nostalgic for my past. It's so cute. I guess the term nostalgic is not what I was thinking of because I just looked up on Google and it doesn't really sound anything correct, so I'm just going to say it's just nice to see it from the past. It's just nice to see that like, a company like Wet n Wild, like a makeup brand, is collaborating with people like that. That's It's really cute. I really like it. But yeah, that's that's all that. The rest of the stuff that I got. So, the bag, the brushes, the setting mist, the up all. And then the lip mask, which I'm pretty much assuming that this is going to be for when Adrian and I do like uh, regular face masks and stuff. And then we'll use this as well. Because it doesn't really have any like directions or anything on it. It just has the ingredients and it says for 12 and up. So I guess we'll see how that goes. But um, I didn't see this the first time. I saw this when we went in last night though. So that's pretty cute. One of my tasks for Walmart last night was going in and I don't really have any like eyeshadows which I thought like to look through them again. I don't really have anything for like Easter month type of thing. Hence why I don't really have any makeup on or anything right now. But out of what I did find in the makeup because they really don't, I guess you gotta like put together your own colors and stuff for Easter things. I don't know. So in the process of looking through the makeup, looking for all that stuff, I found, uh, I'm running low on my e.l.f retractable liner in black, no budge, retractable eyeliner, water resistant, and I can't find it in the old Saver Walmart for some odd reason. I just can't find it. So when I found the one that was the full black is the charcoal one because I have a charcoal one but I don't really like the gray on an everyday basis. I, I prefer the black so I got one of these which I'm pretty sure was like four or five dollars anyway. So Elf is actually pretty good and it's not expensive but it's really good. And in the process, I found, um, they must have done a collaboration with somebody because it says good vibes only, and it is the psychedelic dreams, it says hashtag eye lips face, so, I don't know, uh, elf, clean, vegan, and cruelty free, and it's got a peachy, light, light gold in it, it's got a nudish, more of like brownish color to it with a heart stamp in it. Actually, want to do something? Let's see if we can open this. Make it ten times easier on us to be able to see these colors. I don't even know if they have any, um, oh, oh, there it goes. Nope, stuck to my boot, it goes. It doesn't have any things telling what the colors are, but yes, so we have a goldish peachy pink a tan more kind of brownish one with a heart stamp in it a very nice honestly like St. Patrick's Day green and then a uh, bluish which looks like kind of has a tint of like green or something in there and it has a peace sign in it but this is what they all look like honestly they're basically true to color on here so what you see yeah, what you see is basically what that is. It's really nice. But this was like $4, and yeah, it's small and stuff, but I can still like carry it around in my bag, put like a little bit of green on here and there, or whatever if I want to. Really nice, subtle colors, so that was really nice. And I think the last thing that I got was this Indulgent Trail Mix. I've been getting this every time I go to Walmart because it's amazing. And I honestly should probably like stop eating it so much, but honestly, it makes, like when I have like, things that make my stomach feel all eh, I can eat these and it'll make me feel much better the next morning, you know? So, we got all that stuff. I forget how much we spent last night, but Adrian also got like popcorn for the shop and oh, I forget what else he got. I paid attention, trust me, but I just, I can't remember what else he got me. So, now I'm going to show you guys what his mother got me and what he got me for Christmas. Or Christmas. My birthday. Why do I keep saying Christmas? First, 
uh, I don't know if you guys know the Alex Nami bracelets, it used to be a huge thing back in the day when I was in like high school, so about like 10-ish years ago is when everybody was so high up on these things. It's an Alex Nami bracelet look-alike, but it has a charm that says mom and a charm that has a paw print with a like fake diamond, I guess you could say. But yeah, that long one right there says mom. And then dog print, so I don't know if this is supposed to say dog mom, or if this is just supposed to be like a footprint of, or a paw print saying like, you know, that I have like animals, and then you know, the fact that I'm going to be a mom. I don't know, but this is how it is. This is how cute it is. It's got like the little tiny other little things off on the side. I have no freaking clue what these are. Just to be honest, I have no freaking clue what they say. Um, has a heart with an American flag. A plus with energy, and I have no clue what that means. I guess don't throw it away. I have no clue. Oh, it's copper, I think. Pull here. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways. And then his mother also got me socks, which I already wore, and they're pretty nice. So, got those, like gray with different colors on and stuff. And then she got me. A YSL, which I, I haven't opened it yet because I just recently, if you've seen the podcast, I got a chocolate perfume for the month of April. Maybe going into May. We'll see how long it lasts. But she got me a YSL Manifesto perfume. That's what it looks like. She seems pretty happy on there. And she also seems rich and like she had somebody else do her makeup and she also looks like a model that's skinny as hell. Anyways, this is three fluid ounces, 90 milliliters, and the spray looks like that. I've seen them all before because she gets them like every single freaking month because she uses them up so much. But that's what packaging on the inside looks like. I'm definitely not going to open it until I start using it. And I still have a little bit of perfume right now that I've been using, a couple of them that I've been using, which, I don't know, you guys will probably see that in the vlogs and stuff because, obviously, I'm going to be, most likely, actually, I'm going to be using the makeup stuff in my TikTok probably, and then I'm going to be using, like, this stuff and everything for, for like, first time uses and all that stuff in my vlog, if that makes sense. And, one of the things that we have all, well, not all, but, like, me mainly, <laughs> One of the things that I've been waiting for for a while. So, this is like the main big present that Adrian got me, and then there's something else in there too that we're both gonna be using. But I have had jewelry boxes in and out of my life for the past like 15 years. And the thing is, every time that I get a jewelry box, one that has like an opening top where you can put your rings in it with a mirror on it or whatever, I always have use for that. I always have rings that I have to put in there. But I'm the type of person that layers things on top of things, like, you know, layering clothes. I, um, put thing I would put things on the top of my jewelry box, and I wouldn't be able to get inside the top of it. So, um, Adrian and I decided to come to the conclusion of, instead of getting a jewelry box, I already have in my room the gold two, I don't even know how to explain it. You guys have probably seen it before if you've seen past videos. Um, it's a gold stand, and right now it holds some of my very dangly earrings, which is probably going to keep holding those dangly earrings. And then I have like a little area on the bottom for like bracelets and stuff that's not really used that much. And then the area on the back is used for necklaces, which I use. But I have a whole bunch of stud earrings, and all of those are in a little tiny uh, drawer that I have on the side of my bed right now. Like when I say tiny, I mean like the things like this big. And it has like three small little drawers too. I'm pretty sure at one point I might have possibly showed it in my videos, but I'm not too sure. Anyway, so I'll quit blabbing on about it and I'll just explain what this is. So, this is... And keep in mind if you guys want to see this being put together and placed together, all that stuff, everything, the vlog will become... Actually, I think honestly these videos will be going up before the vlog, but anyways. This is... Without breaking it. This is a, you can kind of see it, three drawers that come out that you put your stud earrings on. 
I haven't really actually taken a look at it yet, so to be truly honest with you, I'm actually just looking at it. And then I'm not sure if this bottom area... Oh yeah, so the bottom area is literally just like this. I can take some like very nice bracelets and put them in here, whatever. Oh! I was like, why is the plastic being an asshole? No, the rubber band that they have to keep all these things together are literally on top of the plastic. That confused me for a second. I'm seeing if I can see. Oh, okay. Ooh, okay. Wow, my eyes are deceiving me with things. Oh my god, not deceiving me. I mean, whoa, okay. That, that's really weird. I, wow, okay. <sighs> Let me see if I can show you guys. I gotta move all this stuff out of the way. Come on. You see all those holes in there? And like the bottom of it that got me really confused really fast. It's like looking in a mirror in like a um arcade game, claw machine. It's like looking in the mirror. To me at least. It's so weird. But yeah, now I got three Actually. I'm gonna take this off really fast and we're gonna look. We're gonna look at this one that's all the way to the side. Okay, there we go. Ooh, there's little markings on it. I don't know, but, so yeah, you got the little things up here that hold, I don't even know what the hell this holds. Probably like rings of some sort or something looks like you can try to put on there. But then all the stud earrings and you can hang some there's some like oval tiny ones. He probably can't even see it. There you go. There's some oval tiny ones and there's some normal tiny ones. So we'll see later on what we can do with this. Oh, I didn't even know that it has a track in there. Okay, there we go. But I'm the one that picked it out on Amazon because he sent me pictures of it. So honestly, if I don't like it, then that's my problem and my fault. And I'll just ask him to get like another one or whatever. Um, it came in. I think, I think he either said three drawers or five drawers, I'm not too sure. I don't fully know, but he yep, the three drawers with the little pull-out thingies, so honestly, we'll see how this works and I'm very excited for it. But we're going to put this bag in here because I'm afraid I'm going to lose it and I'm going to break it. Because for some reason, most of the time, I'm breaking shit. This is why we don't like things that are expensive in this household, okay? We have too many cats and we have too many kids. Just kidding, Ashley and I and the cats basically ruin everything, but that's for another day. So, we got that. That doesn't sound too good. Take back out, make sure we didn't break anything for that one. What the hell is that? So I don't think it was going to happen, but it's okay, as I said. If you don't like it, we can just get another one. And then still use this one. <laughs> and then the last thing out of, I'm assuming this whole entire haul right now, and birthday gifts and everything, is this. This is a, let's see, is it, it's slightly foamy-ish, kind of-ish, I don't know, but it's a back scratcher. It's a back cracker, and apparently Adrian said that you can use it for other things as well, so I'm assuming maybe what those, like, people on YouTube do that when they, like, show you exercises and stuff, I'm assuming, like, the ridges on it maybe makes you legs feel nice or you know something else i don't know i guess we'll have to google and figure it out but yes this is the back cracker type of thingy whatever so that is what adrian and his mother got me for my birthday and that is what i got from walmart last night honestly pretty useful, all the stuff, and then needing all the stuff, but yeah, if you want to see the makeup being used, follow my TikTok, it is private right now because I have a lot of people 
that um, I don't like coming and looking at my profile and keeping their significant other's eyes on my profile and I don't like it so I private my profile but if you seem like a decent person I'll accept your follow on there and other than that as I said stay tuned for the blog that's coming at the end of the week because I will be showing me putting my earrings into that earring holder and also honestly I think I'm also going to show myself using the actual chocolate perfume for the first time too and I think other than that that is basically it so if you stayed this long thank you thank you for watching I know it's, it's a little bit of a long video I just try to explain the most of the camera cat just dropped off the dropped off jumped off the windowsill but I try to explain everything the most that I can so yeah hope you enjoyed like subscribe comment down below go follow my socials anything else I think that's it hope you guys have a good day night wherever you are whenever you're watching this it's 10 33 in the morning for us here but hope you enjoyed like if you did comment below as i said and subscribe if you want to if you want to see this pretty face and i'll see you guys in my next video